Well, welcome back to news. Uh, we're having here Mike Gillespie, and let me tell you, we are coming up to Christmas here That's in right. a few weeks. I can't believe it. Can you? Not really. Well, being talking about Christmas here, can you tell us a little bit how to take care of our Christmas trees? Sure, sure. There's two ways you, basically you get trees. You either get the cut trees that you'll find at the store that are in stands or whatever that you put up and have to take care of. And then there are live potted trees, certain varieties that work here that you're going to have to, uh, you can plant after the season is over. The cut trees, the biggest important, most important thing is you have to make sure that before you take them home that there has either been a fresh cut put on them or you put on a fresh cut before you put it in water. First water that you apply with or without the preservative needs to be hot tap water. After that, just make sure it's not close to a heat source, a heater vent, or something like that, and keep water in it. Remember, the tree's dead, okay? We're just trying to slow down that dying process to get it through Christmas. The live trees, the biggest and most important thing there is they can't be inside for more than 10 to 14, maybe 21 days in a well-lit area. You're taking them out of their food source, so you have to be careful there. All right, well, Mike, we got a question, so okay. let's see what our viewer has to say. Hi, caller, you're on there. Yes, I was wondering, uh, is it time to uh, plant some small trees? Thank you. Plant some what? Small trees. Small trees. <clears throat> For dor dormant or deciduous trees, it's probably just a little bit early. They need to make sure they've been dormant at least six or eight weeks. So if you're talking about fruit trees or things like this, I would probably hold off more till January, February. Yes, you're going to have a better selection then. If you're talking about transplanting trees, then it's probably a good time to go ahead and do that. Just remember to kind of look forward a couple of weeks in the weather and make sure that we're not going to have anything severe during the transplanting process because you'll have more stress on the tree than you really need to do. If it's an evergreen tree, you're probably going to want to time it a few weeks before it tries to molt or put on new leaves. That's at different times of the year depending on the plant system. Now, with this heat coming up, um, what can we do for our plants outside? I mean... Well, most of the plants that have gone dormant, you just need to watch and make sure that the soil that's around the root system doesn't get very dry and you would water the end. For anything that has its leaves during the time, which is termed evergreen, you're going to water a little more often. Remember, you're not watering enough to make any new growth. <clears throat> I'm sorry. You're just trying to water enough to make sure that the plant doesn't stress. So, again, look for the weather. If we're going to have something bad coming and it's going to be dry, water a few days before that is very helpful. Is there any good plants to plant right now, or should we hold off till the warmer weather when it actually stays? Or well, I mean, if you're talking about color for the winter months, then yes, you can plant the pansies and the ornamental cabbage and kale, and as warm as it's been, maybe still some snapdragons and things like that. Uh, as far as the perpetual things like the lady was calling about, we need to get more into January, February before we start to tune in for planting the upcoming seasonal stuff. Uh, small trees and things like that should be planted more February. So larger trees that have been dug for a while, you can go ahead and plant in January. So the, the uh, planting season starts to ramp up a little bit slowly at first and then it begins to pick up. Okay. Well, Mike, we have a couple of callers All in, right. so let's see what they have to say. Hi, caller. You're on there. Good morning, Mike. I would like to know which particular tree would be best to plant as far as a live tree, and where would I get one? Thank you. Uh, I'm assuming you're talking about a Christmas tree. If you are, <clears throat> most of the nurseries here in town are going to carry the potted Afghan, Mondale, or Eldorica pine. They're all the same kind of pine. <clears throat> I'm sorry, the pine tree does well here. Uh, you just need to make sure that it's a tree size that you can handle. They're going to be inside for 10 to 14 days. Then they need to go back outside and acclimate for the same period of time that they're inside before you're going to plant it. One easy way to water it, of course, put a saucer underneath it, is to uh, drop a few trays of ice on there. The ice melts slowly. It's not going to run water through the root ball and make a big mess. Just make sure you keep it moist. One tip also is when it goes back outside a few days before you're going to plant it, shut the water off to it so the root ball hardens up because it transplants a lot better. All right, Mike. Well, hey, thank you so sure. much for the plant care tips as always. And don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.